Detoxing, the first step you'll take when you're ready to start recovery. It's often a difficult process for people who've become heavily addicted to drugs and alcohol. But what actually happens to the brain when detoxing? And why is detox so important? We'll be learning more about it in this installment of Science and Addiction. If you haven't already seen our episode on the addicted brain, you can pause the video and watch now. In our previous videos, we've seen how the cycle of addiction can change the neurocircuitry of the brain. When a substance is administered into the body, the internal balance of the brain's chemicals are disrupted, resulting in the surges of neurotransmitters like dopamine and glutamate that create the euphoric effects. Over time, the brain begins to adjust to these levels, creating a new balance within the brain. However, this is where we start to see symptoms of tolerance and withdrawal, the two biggest hallmarks of more severe addiction. Tolerance is marked by a progressive need to take in an increased dose to get the same level of euphoria. This is due to the brain becoming accustomed to the usual dosages, releasing less neurotransmitters over time. As the addiction progresses, tolerance dulls the euphoric effects of the substance. On the other hand, withdrawal is known as the negative symptoms when someone suddenly stops using a drug. Without the substance being administered on a frequent basis, addicted people will start to experience immense feelings of sickness until they use again. This becomes one of the main reasons individuals stay in active addiction. As the addiction progresses, substance abuse then becomes less of a goal to experience feelings of euphoria and more of a means of deterring the symptoms of withdrawal. Different substance classes often display different symptoms when individuals are undergoing withdrawal. There are generally three sets of withdrawal symptoms coming from respective substances, such as central nervous system stimulants, depressants, and opiates. Withdrawal symptoms from these substances are immensely uncomfortable experiences and are extremely dangerous to undergo without medical supervision. So how does detox help? With modern medicine, medical professionals are able to help facilitate the process of withdrawing from psychoactive substances. Detoxing helps the brain find a degree of normality in the absence of addictive substances. There are also many medications used to help mediate the discomfort of withdrawals. Not only does it make withdrawals more bearable, but detox also provides a safe environment that reduces the chances of physical and permanent harm if one was looking to go through withdrawals alone. Once the process is complete, individuals can start the recovery process with a mind free from active addiction. While it may take time for the brain to heal, Detox and treatment have shown that the brain begins to reconnect neurocircuitry and find a natural balance once again. Thank you for watching. Please be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and check out our other videos. If you have any ideas as to what we'd like to cover next, please leave it in the comments below.